It's Food Truck Friday. I'm Shannon Baker and I joined the Wood family at Woodpile Barbecue to learn more about the spin that they've put on an Eastern North Carolina classic. Pork and pineapple is really, it's really good. You know, you don't think about it a lot, but when you put something sweet with that savory and a little bit of vinegar, it really brings out the flavor of the pork. The air was full of sweet pineapple smells by the time Wood was finished browning the pineapple slices. Just get the pot, the frying pan as hot as we can get it, a little bit of salt, and all of a sudden the sugars in the pineapple start to caramelize a little bit. I add a little bit of water to it to give it some color, flip it around a little bit, and let it sort of sit there in its own juice and sort of marinate, and then we just put it right on the barbecue sandwich. Woodpile Barbecue started when Joey Wood began cooking for a local church for an event. Things progressed from there and he started to need more equipment. A friend suggested that Wood should just go ahead and start up his own food truck. I said, well, okay. So there we go. I got certified through the state, got my uh, license, got my, started my business, and boom, my side job became my, my fun job became my side job. Wood said that the name was a little bit tricky to come up with, but he drew inspiration from family. It goes back to the 70s, believe it or not. I am one of eight kids, and my dad, the honorary mayor of Lizard Licks, said his name was Charles Wood. He sort of coined the phrase Woodpile because it was a pile of kids. Well, my last name, Wood, my wife, my two sons, my daughter, there's a pile of us in the truck working. So it became Woodpile Barbecue because that's what we like to do. Now, Woodpile Barbecue doesn't have a set schedule. It's best to keep up with them on their Facebook page or on their website, woodpilebarbecuenc.com. I'm Shannon Baker in the digital studio, nine on your side.